I already got another package at the door. Let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure this is the new room controller from Lightline, as well as a couple of the new sky fixtures. But we're going to just quickly retro these things here. Those are a couple of whiz lamps because I'm, well, too lazy to cut holes today. But we're going to get at this thing. So let's go check it out. The amazing part about this system is the room controller that we've developed. It's a really key piece to having a fully connected, always on wireless network enabled by your switches. So inherently that's the problem. When we think of what happens here, these devices are built to shut power off. So if you think about that for a second, they're built to disconnect things. They're a disconnect. So we just killed power at the breaker, and now I don't have power at the switch, which is intentional, but when we apply energy back to this, it's just going to continually disconnect my fixtures that need to remain connected. So what Lightline built is this room controller from scratch. This is our design, this is our device, intended to continually allow power to flow past it while maintaining the integrity of a switch in a method of being able to be used as a disconnect should one need to, but ultimately this device just simply sends a signal. It talks to the cloud wirelessly as a device in the wall to communicate with the fixtures that you want to maintain your control with. And that's the brilliant component here, is this right in my hands. Great packaging, really well done. So let's get into this thing and let's see what we can do. So here we have it out of the box, and here it is, here's the room controller. So it's decor styled, single gang device, we're going to need our neutral, we're going to need our hot, we're going to need our load, and a ground. Pretty straightforward. It's very important that neutral, again, just as the last video had described having that to be a component or a key piece of maintaining that connection and giving us best control. This here allows us to do the same with the room controller. Let's get some more light on this thing. There we go. So, everybody should be able to see it here. grab our multimeter here. We're already set to AC volts. We're going to tap these babies. Let's find the ground here. That's plastic. There's our ground right there. So let's touch that. We've got nothing. Let's make sure we're making contact. We've got nothing. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, now at this point, Time has taught me lessons that you probably shouldn't go and put everything back together until you are sure it's all working properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back outside, we're going to flip that breaker, and we're going to come back in and read the instructions on how to put this together. Okay, let's read some instructions here. Installing and pairing the room controller. Make sure it's 2.4, yeah, we are a 2.4 Wi-Fi network, it's very important. Uh, many, it does mention this, and it's good, valuable information. Most new routers are dual bandwidth, so you should be able to select between them in the software of your new router. Most of them have apps that are included these days. ISPs, they usually have one that you can work through. All right, so we're going to open up the Wiz app. So I've done this before with some other devices, lamps like we have up there. We're going to get into our home, and what we're going to want to do Add room yet? Yeah, we're going to have a room already set up. Name your owner, select from the list. Yeah, okay, we can do that. We're going to add the device, and away we're going to go. So when I open the app, it should recognize the lamps, and it should also recognize this device. So we're going to get pairing. We're going to start by pairing those three with lamps again. Add a device, as you would have seen on there. I'm in Steve's room, which is my office, and these are light bulbs. 
make sure that our Wi-Fi is good. We're 2.4 gigahertz. We know that. We're good to go. My password is updated. The network has been online again for more than a couple of minutes, so we won't have any connectivity issues, or we shouldn't. We're going to do the smart pairing sequence, which is pretty straightforward. We power the lights off, we power them on, and then we have to tap start. So press and hold to snap that relay open, disconnecting the power to the lights. Press and hold the on button. There we go. We're energized. We hit start. And in a matter of moments here, we should see our three lamps appear. So while that initiates, I'm just going to bring the sky fixture out for a moment. And just look at the packaging, look at the fixture. One thing to keep an eye out for now is that we have included the color um, options or the color portion of our uh, fixtures and their, their opportunity as a built-in, as a directly connected wireless device. So here we've got the red, green, blue, the RGB on the top, and then the tunable white at the bottom. So if you only see the tunable white, you'll know that it's just that. If you see both, that means it's full color. Okay, here we are. We're good to go. So the app, the Wiz app, has found the light bulbs. We've got all three. Press finish when all your devices have been found. You know, we're going to do, yeah, we, gotta, we have to pair the controller separately. So we're going to hit finish. Now it's going to ask us what we want to set up the lamp or, or the light as, uh, as far as an icon. And it's hanging from the ceiling. I'm going to choose this one here this time. Next light. Choose the same. Next light. Choose the same. So you could do this for an entire room, right? So whatever would be connected to this room controller, meaning that it is that unique device I was explaining earlier, it is going to allow power to flow freely through this portion of the switch leg. Anything that's on that, as long as it comes on in that sequence, meaning we energize it at the right time, Wiz should be able to find it. It should be able to pick it up. So here we go. Next light. We're done. We've already set the icon we want. We hit complete. And here we go. We now have control from the app of these three lamps. So we can cycle between them. We can change them individually. So I've just selected one to change color, right? Now I'll select another. You know, we'll take that to 45K. That was one of the other custom settings that I had. Hit done. I'm going to select one more. It's on daylight. We'll do that one to maybe nightlight. So it's really given that one. So you can kind of see it a little bit there. Uh, we can get even more crazy with it. And we can set, I created this psychedelic purple inadvertently previously. So there we go. So I can individually manipulate these fixtures, these lamps. You could also consider these to be something like our new sky fixture. It's no different than the Louis lamps I'm using there. We could have the fixtures up and in placement. We can individually address them. And in turn, we can actually smart group them, which is a really, really cool thing. So I'm going to, you can select them individually. I'm going to select all of them together. I'm going to uh, go and grab, let's do, how about TV time? So it's taking it down to this sort of bluish purple kind of feel, which is kind of neat. And the colors will take a second to adjust. It is a smart system, so it, uh, it gets familiar with itself. So now that we've got that working, I'm going to pop it back up to a, to a warm light. Now that we've got that working, we need to pair this room controller. Now, the sequence here is really not any different. We don't immediately have a prompt to add something, so we do hit the plus button up top and make sure we're in the room, right? Steve's office, it's a room controller, so it will control what is placed in that room. Hit the plus. It's going to give us some options of what we want to connect. It, I don't believe it's in the instructions yet, um, but we want to pair this not as a switch, as a wall panel. This is a control panel, if you will. I'm using like air quotes, control panel. So we're going to select that. It says searching for the wall, wall panel press. It's on button three times for pairing. One, two, three. Boom. Just like that. It sees it. I don't like what it's labeled as. So we're going to go back. We're going to call it Steve's office room controller. And we're going to hit finish. There we go. Now you'll notice it's not appearing as a device in the room. Only in the room do we see the fixtures. To view this, you have to go into 
accessories. So you'll see that here. I'll bring it a little closer. We've got Steve's office, and now we have the room controller as an accessory. So it recognizes that as a different device. So this is where it's going to get a little interesting. And we're first time through. So what's really cool about the room controller, and in design, this was something that we really wanted to push the threshold with a little more and make it a little more unique. We've got dimming on the right toggle, sorry, on the right rocker, rather. We've got white tuning on the left rocker. We've got on and off in the middle. And then at the bottom, we're able to cycle between our favorites. Now what's unique to Wiz, and what I'll do is I will pop into a color selection part of my app. And in the directory here, you can see numberized one, two, three, and four. You can set up to four favorites. Now these can be colors, they can be preset colors, they can be custom colors, but they can also be scenes. Now that is the cool part. That's where you get into being able to, in an infinite way, be able to create and customize your space, your home, however you want it to go. So let's jump back out here. So we're currently sitting at just a placed warm white setting. I'm going to press the dim rocker down. And as you can see, we dim down. Now it gets to a point where we've reached sort of that low cut threshold. We can take that and trim it depending on how we like. So we should be able to go into the settings of the room controller and trim that down. We'll do that after. So I'm gonna launch this back up. And you'll see on the app, it should correspond and correlate appropriately. Boom, you see full intensity. Now on the left side, we've got color coordination. Now this is white tuning. This isn't necessarily cycling between 16 million colors. We'd be here for a while. So let's try that. I'm gonna white tune it down. Look at that. And it's gone down to 2300, 2200K. I'm pressing the left and we're going up. 26, you can see it on the app. And it's up in its bluest setting. It's up to cool white. So I'm just gonna step 61, we'll step down a little more. 56, look at it go. That is just incredible. So I will, hopefully you're getting a view of that now. I have GoPro's on my head, so step a little quicker. Isn't that just brilliant? Look at us go, we're all the way down to a nice warm 2000K color temperature. That is something else. All right, now we're gonna do something crazy. I'm not really familiar with the different favorites that we have. I mean, my wife and I haven't really set too many of these. We have, I think a red preset, but I'm gonna cycle through it. Okay, so you see the app change. This is a fireplace setting, and you'll notice the tortoise and the hare. That is the sort of the frequency at which the colors transition to create the fireplace feel. I'll look up and you'll see it's kind of mixing between a yellow and a green, an orange, a yellow, and a green. Now, if you don't look at the fixture, it's kind of neat because you, you get some of the green out here. And let's jump over to the next favorite. The next favorite is a focus setting. So this is a temperature that I think my wife uses when you know, she's had enough of listening to me yammer on 10 hours a day. On the phone, she goes to her focus setting to really buckle down. We'll flip it one more time. There's a daylight one, I guess that's a preset. And now we're back to this various. And this is where we have the ability to tune our color temperature. How cool is that? Okay, so we've got a fully functioning room controller. It's paired in the room and it's controlling anything that we have designated for it to control. That's really cool. Now there's one really awesome thing about this and, and speak more to the individual that would ask the question, you know, why do I need this? You know, what's the advantage? And there's a handful of them. The biggest one in my opinion though is our ability to create an infinite amount of control. And that means that you can individually address luminaires. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to turn these off for a good effect here. So you'll see I've turned one of them off. I'm going to turn another one off. So we're left with just one lamp on. So we've got one fixture on here and to really give it some type of drastic effect, let's choose this psychedelic purple. Oh yeah, that's a preset, sorry. Let's come back here, turn you off. Turn you off. I'm just going to try this again here. This is the one we want and psychedelic purple. There we go. Actually, that color's not defined enough. Let's, uh, let's do a hard, heavy blue. There we go. Hand purple. Hand purple is what we have. Okay, so we've got one fixture on one color. The other two lamps in the room are off. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to create a scene around this, and then we're going to program that scene into the room controller so we can cycle between it physically from a wall switch. You don't need to vocalize commands. You won't need to bring your phone out, open the Wiz app, and start changing from there. So here's what we're going to do. Since we've set the color, that's how Wiz works. That's how you create your scenes. You build out the feel of the room that you want, then you make it a scene. So we're going to jump in here. And it says, there is no scene saved for Steve's office yet. Snap a picture of this scene. We want to do that. So here we go. And you'll notice that it has designated one of those lamps to be on. And it's showing like a purple-blue shade. That's the color that it is uh, It's recognizing. We're going to take a picture of this. There we go. We're going to use that photo. And we're going to call this scene blue test single lamp thanks for auto correcting that's perfect blue test single lamp create this scene there we go now we can execute this scene from the app quite easily but we don't really want that we don't want to execute from the app you know we can set it up in adversary and we can program this into alexa and we can program into google home what we want to do is we want to set this as a favorite for the room so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into settings we're going to go to our room, Steve's office. See how we've got some options here that speak to the entire room. We're going to take one of these and interchange it with what I just created as a scene. So let's take this focus one out because I don't really know what that color is. We've got options. Right away you can choose scenes or then you can get into all of the different colors and some of the presets that are automatically available on the Wiz app. We're going to go into scenes. Here it is. Blue test, single lamp. That's the one we want. I hit select hit save. There it is. It's now the third preset. So, in theory, when I start cycling between these favorites and I start toggling, we should get to that. Here's our fireplace setting. Here I'll go back to the room and we can watch in real time as it changes simultaneously. We're going to slow down the effect of the fireplace just for a better feel. There we go. There it is right there. So if we look up, it's going to a single lamp, the other two are off, and we've got that scene engaged. Cycle over, there we are. It'll change in a moment. It should read, there's the daylight setting. We'll go one more over. This should be our warm white. Then it's going to go back to the fireplace, and we hit it again. Boom. There we are. Right back to our custom scene. Individually addressing and grouping fixtures. So all I gotta say is that's pretty darn cool. Let's uh, let's blast this thing on here. Well, that's interesting. I just hit the on button. I'm not really sure what that does yet. Let's jump to a scene that we know. Lots of light. Here we are, and I think that will pretty much conclude that portion. So I'll pop this GoPro off. I think we're still recording. Yeah, we're good. And again, I just wanted to kind of shed some light on the importance of this. I mean, we have a device here that allows power to continuously flow through it. So your connected devices, your connected lighting stays connected. That's the big thing. You've got to treat it like an appliance. That's really what it is. You think of a stove or a refrigerator. You know, these appliances need continuous power at all times so that they can be interacted with and be regulated and controlled from a, wall pa from a, a control panel, right? The connected lighting is no different. The problem is we have a wall switch. And that's inherent to how construction is done for lighting. You have to be able to switch that load off. You need to be able to disconnect it. So you've got breaker panels that run the circuits out to switch legs that act as disconnects for lighting. And there's historical reasons why we need that, but we're not going to change the way that these are done today. We need to be able to work with the framework we're given, and that's why Lightline created this device. The room controller essentially captures your room's settings from the Wiz app in a single gang wall device and it mounts in to a single gang. You retrofit, you new construct it in, however you need to put it in there, and it's going to allow continuous power to your fixtures so that when you hit the off button, your lights go off. But I can go over here and I know it's pitch black and I can't even find my phone. <laughs> Wherever I put it, here it is here. Here's my phone. I'm going to open it up. And even though we just turned that device off, I hit the on button, boom, 
We're always connected, always on, and we're always on cloud. Thanks for watching. Get a hold of one of these, play around with it, get yourself some of the new fixtures that Lightline has coming. They're full color, RGB, tunable white. This is the new Sky fixture. It's a regressed four inch and six inch new style downlight, a nice clean sort of beveled aesthetic there, interchangeable trims, and you gotta play around with it. If you've got the ability to do it, get your electrician, do it yourself, play around. It's incredibly cool what you can create with 60 million colors. And as a very famous individual once said, the people may not know what they want yet because we haven't shown it to them. I'll leave you with that.